So, to be honest, I have no idea how I'm going to start this video. <laughs> so let me just start with, this is my leopard gecko Nyla. I introduced her in one of my videos, um, the week that I got her. And yeah, she's pretty cool. And the thing about leopard geckos, if you know your reptile as well, is that they are really chill animals. They're, this is literally, this is Nyla. Sure, she does want to move, but just like bearded dragons, they are pretty chill. Um, I wouldn't say that they're as chill as bearded dragons, but they're up there. So, this week is spirit week at my school, which means it's homecoming. And I don't know if all schools do this, but our school does. We do spirit week, so each day you have a new theme. And today's theme was a job that you wanted to do when you got older. And personally, I want to work with animals when I go, get older. That's just, that's what I want to do. It's what I want to do since I was little. And I still want to do it. So, I dress like it. So, in a way, I kind of dress like a zookeeper. Um, I just kind of have a zoo shirt on. I have these shorts on. I had a, a bandana and whatnot. And, yeah, I was like, yo, I'm missing something to go along with my costume. So... I brought Nyla. And if you're thinking that this is just a story time video and you're not gonna see any clips for proof, you're wrong! Because this is not a Lomo. This is me showing you proof. Yesterday, I finally decided, yes, I'm gonna bring Nyla in for school. And everyone was telling me, Brooke, you need to go talk to the principal. Obviously, you would think I would go do that. But our principal, hates animals. Um, she doesn't even have a dog. She doesn't want a dog. She doesn't want cats. She, does, she's, she doesn't like anything. And reptiles, she especially hates. Because, you know, reptiles are really underrated in my opinion. Um, sure, if you don't like them, then you're gonna think, nah, dude, they're where they're supposed to be. But that's because you don't know them. So, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna tell the principal. That's not gonna happen. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go talk to our science teacher, and if she says yes, then I'll just, I'll bring her in. So I went up to our science teacher and I'm like, hey, Mrs. D, um, do you mind if, if this plan goes wrong, can I just keep her in your room for the day? Because I know that she would take good care of her for the day. And she's like, yeah, I would love to do that. Bring her in, I give you props for even doing it, awesome. So I'm like, okay, I cleared it with Mrs. D, so I'm going to, I'm going to go do this. So then today comes and I'm getting around for the morning and I'm literally shaking because I'm so scared. And the boy that I ride to school with, he is a really good kid. And don't get me wrong, I'm a good kid, but he's really good. And he's like, hey, so did you clear it with the principal? And yeah, like you bring in your lizard. And I'm like, yeah, I got it all cleared. And it's, it's gonna be good. And it's just, it's, we're gonna have fun. Cause you know, clear it with the principal. And he's like, oh, sweet, awesome, that's gonna be awesome. And I'm like, yeah, and then inside my head, I'm like, nope, I think I didn't clear with the principal. So that was, I think that was my first time lying to him. Kind of feel guilty. So I get to the school and Mrs. D sees me in the hallway and she's like, oh my gosh, Brooke, you actually brought it. Awesome, let me see. And I'm like, Mrs. D, we're in the hallway. I can't just pull her out, like this is top secret. And I have her in this carrier, by the way. And so she's like, well then, let's go to my room. So my friend Kennedy and I walk to Mrs. D's room and she takes her out, you know, she's like holding her, she's asking questions, we're having a good time. The bell rings for me to go to first hour and that's when it sets in like, oh no, I'm in school. I shouldn't be having my lizard. This is, oh, this is scary. So I'm sitting in first hour, which is English for me. and. I'm just sitting in there and that teacher, she's not into reptiles at all. So I'm like, okay, in this class, I gotta keep it top secret. I'm just going to sit here and do my thing. And Nyla is just sitting underneath my desk and the end of class comes around. No one's even noticed except for my friends <laughs> and I was filming them. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'm good. And then this kid named Ted, keeps on going up and he's like, he went up to my desk and he's like, oh my gosh, that's alive. And everyone's like, wait, what? She actually has something in there? And Ted's like, yeah, that's alive. Whoa, it's moving. Oh my gosh, 
I, you guys can't trick me because I'm untrickable. That's alive and I know it. And I'm just sitting there and I'm giving him this look like, shut your mouth, kid. Shut your freaking mouth. Oh, you're going down. I try to play it off. Ted's the type of kid that jokes around a lot. So I played that off. I said, dude, shut up. It's fake. Like, go away. And I, the teacher didn't even have to think twice. Like, she took my word over his for once. And, you know, usually, you should take my word over his. But, <laughs> today was just the one exception that maybe if you took his word, he was telling the truth and I wasn't. So we go to second hour, which is choir. And I am uh, up on the bleachers. I have my gecko, you know, Nyla, she's over in the corner. Nobody's really noticed except for my friends because, you know, we got out mealworms and I fed everyone and we're all just kind of laughing and having a good time. But there's a lot of people in that class. So, no one really noticed. And then, Mr. S, he's like, yo, everyone, we're gonna walk around and sing today. So we're walking around the room and singing and these few girls that are in the grade below me, they're like, oh my gosh, Brooke has something in her little packet here. And then they call me over and they're like, Brooke, come over here. And then that gathers up like a crowd of at least, there's probably four or five of them. And they're just like, oh my gosh, look at it. And I'm like, guys, shut up, guys, shut up. This is top secret, this is top secret. So I'm freaking out and it's still top secret. I told them to shut their mouths and not say anything, keep it on down low. And at this point, the only teacher that knows, keep this in mind, is Mrs. D. She's the only one that knows. Uh, time is going by, we get out of that class, and I have to go to art. And Mrs. F, she is the art teacher. And she's really cool. Uh, so we're all messing around, and this is so funny. So my friend Jordan loves Nyla. Today is the first day that all my friends actually met her, and Jordan loved her probably the most. It was her and Kennedy were probably back to back, but Jordan really loved Nyla. I think that she beat Kennedy on that one. In art, Jordan kept on being like, oh my gosh, can I pet her? Can I hold her? Come on, just let me take her out. I love her, I love her, I love her. Just let me take her out. And so I'm like, Jordan, no, calm down. I'm trying to keep it on the down low, like chill, chill, chill. And she's like, okay, well, here, I'm just gonna take her out. So then she just takes her out, doesn't listen to me, and then goes to the back room. And I'm like, crap. So then we're all in the back room where all the paint is. <laughs> with a gecko that Jordan's holding and she's like, oh my gosh, I love it. And then Mrs. F walks in and she, I do not know how Jordan pulled this off because Jordan turned around really fast and she had like a tie on for something or she had something on her and she just covered the gecko up with a tie. And that was freaking awesome. Uh, props to Jordan, but like, we're all just sitting there like crap. So then I just start talking about paint. I'm like, okay, so this acrylic paint, uh, I used that one and I think I'm gonna probably wait and I'm just like talking to them, acting like we're talking about art, you know. The end of art comes and I'm like, you know what, Mrs. F's cool. I'm just gonna tell her about the gecko. So I tell Mrs. F and I'm like, hey, so can you keep a secret? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, so you know how I'm dressed up like a zoologist or a zookeeper. Well, that's because um, I want to be one and I brought my gecko in as part of my costume. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm flattered that you actually trust me. I won't say a word to anyone. And I'm like, dude, you and Mrs. D, you guys are the real MVPs because you guys did not say a word at all. So freaking shout out to you too. Okay, time goes on. Next class comes around. It's science. Um, and uh, <laughs> so in science today, we didn't, we had to do computer work. So that was a time where Nyla's nocturnal. She's been awake almost all day. So I felt for her and I'm like, okay, we're not gonna take her out this hour. We're not gonna mess around. We're just, and of course, I choose science. The one hour that actually has to deal with her, I decide not to take her out, but you know, whatever. And after that comes lunch. And I was nervous at lunch, but today the principal decided not to walk around. So I'm like, yes, she's not walking around. Woohoo! Cause then that means she won't come over to us like she usually does almost every day, which is crazy. God knew, God knew that we were gonna bring Nyla to school today. I put her at the end of the lunch table and we all just ate. I was gonna feed her, but I'm like, nah, it's too obvious if I do. And so I'm like, I'll just save her mealworms for like a different hour that we're all actually interacting with her. So it was still on the down low. Okay, so history came after lunch and we watched a movie. So, you know, she probably got another nap in cause I didn't take her out that hour. And then, I, it was on the down low until sixth hour. 
and sixth hour is geometry. And I was like, hey guys, um, I'm going to give her to Kennedy for the hour. Right decision, by the way. Actually, we did have fun. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna pretend that that was a bad decision. So I give her to Kennedy and Kennedy's over there with Paige and she's like, they're like, oh, let's take her out. So then they took her out and Mrs. C walked by and she's like, oh, what is that? And then they're like, yo, it's, it's a gecko. And then they're like, it's Brooks. And she's like, oh my gosh, can I hold it? And we're all like, what? I thought you were gonna yell at us. Like, I honestly, I was nervous for the geometry, the geometry teacher because I was like, oh no, she is gonna hate us because I thought that she didn't even like animals. But she held it, she put it on top of her head, picture right now. But it was such a good time. We had a blast in there. We spent literally the whole hour with Nyla out. She did not go back into her carrier until like, <laughs> probably an hour and a half later or so and then seventh hour came around that's wood shop and I was nervous about that but the wood shop teacher he has a reptile he has a bearded dragon so I was like oh okay um awesome dude you're not gonna mind so he held it so now mrs. C knows about it mr. G which is a wood shop and then a uh, band came around and mr. S found out about it and we just had a really good time but I got away with it the principal still does not know and that is basically the story of bringing my gecko to school and Nyla she loved it I bet if it was up to her she would go to school with me every single day because she had an absolute blast today so if you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys uh, give me some props cuz you know taking her to school don't get me wrong it was it was really scary like despite it being a lot of fun and I do not regret it at all it was really scary because I thought that I could have gotten huge trouble for just randomly bringing my lizard to school. But the principal didn't notice, the teachers didn't mind, and I guess you just gotta know when the time's right to take them out. If you guys are watching this and you wanna take your pet to school, which is not, I guess, the brightest idea, but it's actually kinda fun, um, my tips are know when to take them out, know the teacher, if you're not close with teachers, don't even bother to bring them. Um, that's a huge, huge thing because I know that sounds bad, but that's when being a teacher's pet can come in handy. I'm not necessarily a teacher's pet, but I do get along with a lot of the teachers. And if you don't get along with teachers, don't bother even bringing your pet. They're gonna make a big deal out of it, then you can get in trouble. And you just gotta be friends with the teachers, at least one teacher and clear it with them first that if anything bad happens, you can put it in their room for the day. So, that's my advice. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Woo! Okay, so guys, I know that this is really late, but I just wanna tell you guys what's going on with my channel. Um, if you guys have been on it anytime recently, I'm gonna try to like make this short too. But I obviously took down a lot of my videos. I just put them on private. So if I ever change my mind, I can, you know, just put them all back up. But I put my favorites still on public so you guys can see. But I'm going to be totally changing this channel around. I have so many plans with short films and just making this more professional in a way. But don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be a goofball and whatnot. Especially if, you, if I ever get like a group of my friends together and we want to do a funny challenge. You bet I'll be recording it and uploading it. So it's basically gonna be challenges, random videos every here and there, and like short films and skits and whatnot. So yeah, that's just the update, and I just want to tell you guys what's going on with the channel. So.